All right, let's hop into yeah. it, then. We ain't got to waste no more time. So we got every single... Wait, before we start, though, before we start, though, before we start, like, before we start, let me hop in. All right, hop in the stream, stream, bro. Uh-oh. Okay. Hop in the stream. All right. We better start, start up. up. Start that motherfucker up. Okay, and we are ready to... So we have every... What in the fuck is that? I see it. It's Sawyer. I see it. I see it. Yeah, that's Sawyer. That's just. All right. So hey, hey, hey. I asked them niggas what they thought the verse cause was. They got some very interesting opinions. It's gonna be interesting to see what y'all think about our opinions on the cause. But yeah, we got every single Call of Duty on the tier list. We got the regular tiers that we always have: ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. No, we don't got all that. We just going down to five. If you're below a five, you're trash. It's that simple. Now. The way I rank things might not be the same way he ranks things, but that's what we call an opinion. So let's just hop into it. So first, Call of Duty. How I rank them? You want to understand, like, you want me to describe, like, my tiers? Okay, so yeah. 10 is, like, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Yep, 10 is perfect. perfect. If something is really, it's, honestly, if something is 6, 7, that's probably mid. I will probably say 6 or 5 is mid. 7 is on the good range. Eight is towards like the great range, and like nine is like amazing. It's just missing one thing. Like it's just not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Okay. 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 So we I good? I ain't imagine that here. All right. right. Well, first Call of Duty. <laughs> you you haven't played it. I haven't played it. We're putting it in trash. <laughs> Facts. There's literally only campaign. There's yeah, only campaign. There's no multiplayer. Okay. There's literally only campaign. Who's playing that? Come on, bro. Call of Duty 2, trash. Call of Duty 3, trash. Get it out of here. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Before you even keep going, before you keep going, because we putting the first one in trash because we haven't played it. Unfair. But that's how you want to do it, you know. That's how you want to do it. We put in Kai I put Kai 1, 2, 3, all in trash. Okay. So this is where Call of Duty 4. This is really where I believe COD blew up. This is the first COD I ever played. I played it on the Wii. One of the most fun games I ever touched. Now, when I played it, was it a lot of hackers and a lot of modded lobby? Yes. But that doesn't take away from the fact how fun it was. Still was very fun. Still to this day, I would give it a solid 7 or 8. 7 or 8. The game you only played yep. on the Wii? A hot take. So what you would give it? I only played this game when they had. Did you play the remaster? The remaster count too. Remaster. What would you, like you give the remaster? Honestly, but maybe because you know I'm at a camping. You know, there's a lot of people be camping. What would you? Games. And that's like know, the Modern Warfare probably, series. Niggas so just camping them. Remaster bitches. was like, yeah, yeah. Not all of them. Not all of them, but for this one, I would probably put it in. Yeah, I'll probably put this in five. five. All right, so we gonna go. We gonna go six then. We gonna go five. six. Personally. I said, I said seven, six, maybe six, eight. Six. You said five. We're gonna put it in the middle. Ward at war. The only thing I played of this is the zombies, and that was on Black Ops One. And that's supposedly the Black Ops One version of the was zombies that they brought from that was supposed to be better. So I really can't say anything on it. But the fact that it yeah. had zombies is a seven alone, nigga. Zombies is literally like damn near the best thing COD got for me, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, this game is very nostalgic for me. This is actually like the first COD I actually like, like had, I owned. This is my first COD. Campaign Legendary. Guns are great. Campaign was good on it? The cinematics. I love all that. Yeah, oh, shit. I trolled. No, 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 no. My, my number four got to be higher because the campaign, that's definitely the best campaign I played. I put it, I put it okay, to seven we, now because I would say it's probably more, more solid on the eight. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Because the campaign on there is good. That's cool. Let me forget. Campaign card on Call of Duty World War was great. I don't think I ever played zombies on there because I just didn't have Xbox Live. Before. You never played solo zombies? Uh, but I love the guns. No, I don't think so. Uh, wait, that's the map that had that. They got, map. they got, they got no, notched on there. No. Di the Reese is on there. No, the Reese is probably the best one. They have Verruckt and they have Shino Numa. Kino is on Black Ops One. I don't remember that. Uh, if it's not Kino, then no, I didn't play it. So I'll probably put this. Honestly, the most, the most, we play Verruckt and, uh, Die Rise the most, Darice the most. 
Okay. Yeah, I'll probably play seven. All right, I'm gonna sure. just let you like that. Modern Warfare Two. My experience with Modern Warfare Two is that it's completely opposite from other people. Honestly, I remember it being like mm-hmm. just extremely broken shit. Like it was pretty much Modern Warfare. It was like Modern Warfare, Warfare multiplayer, Warfare. but like to a whole nother level. And I didn't even really like the campaign. Mm-hmm. So like the things that I liked about Modern Warfare, I feel the like the things that I liked about Modern Warfare they kind of ruined them on Modern Warfare Two for me. But they had, like, extremely insane shit on Modern Warfare 2. So, like, if you weren't good at COD, I'm going to be honest. Like, me at the time, I wasn't that good at online. So, like, it was a very devastating experience for me. Like, I was getting my shit ran. I'm going to be honest. But, honestly, the way people talk about it, I'll put it a tier above where I think it is. I think it was it should be around 7, honestly, for me. But... I, I mean, I would say it's around six for me. If I'm going up a tier based off how people love it, to not disrespect that, I'll put it at seven because I didn't play it nearly as much as these cards after it. I didn't play it nearly as much. Right. For me, because I haven't played it a whole lot, it has to be at least an eight because when I did play it, I know it's a lot of broken shit. Like the, the one man game. army. Uh, no, last last. That game, shit was, was fucking insane. Army, that's what it was called. It was that was yeah. But sniping was great. Sniping was great. Uh, I do love the assault rifles in that game. I do love the kill streaks in the game. Kill streaks were really good. Um, so for me, what's like a memorable kill streak? I don't remember any of the kill streaks. Is this? Did this have the AC one thirty? I thought that did. Yeah, I think so. But what it's really known for, let's be honest, it's known for the noob twos, one man, one man, yeah, tactical nukes, actually tactical nukes, but I was ass, so I didn't, you know, but yeah, uh, what it's really known for, though, is for, like, the ACR, the UMP, and shit like that, or uh, 45. Yeah, but you know, the campaign, campaign, I didn't fuck with the campaign, I've told you that before, I didn't fuck with it. Only reason I got it was because, remember, but only reason I got this game was because I fucked with Call of Duty 4 so much on the Wii. And this was like the first cut I got on the Xbox. I didn't like the campaign. The real main thing I liked about the uh, COD 4 was the campaign when I first played it. That was the first cut I ever played. Okay. Okay, well, if I had to rank it, I'll put Nine. it in five. That's my final. All right, I I'll said seven, it. so it goes eight. So what you playing? All right, so Black Ops. Okay. So Black Ops hey, won. Now, I'm going to be honest. I probably have nostalgia to this. The only reason I ever got Black Ops was because, you know those little games that be at, like, Dave and Buster's and shit like that? Where, like, there will be a lot of prizes in the game, but you got to mm-hmm. grab the prize. It's like the little, it's the key game. You know the little key game where, like, it goes up and down or, le- or you go left or right? Yeah. And you got to stop it at the yeah. right time? I won one of them bitches and got Black Ops yeah. when, it ke- when it was out. That's how I got Black Ops. Yeah, yeah that's literally how yeah, I got Black yeah. Ops. I never, I didn't buy it. I got, I won that shit as a prize. That's legit how I won that shit. But yeah, Black Ops, bro, bro. I just talked about zombies. Zombies is literally my favorite thing. But Black Ops multiplayer is just as good as his zombies. It's just as good as his really? zombies. They had crazy yeah. amounts of guns. They had crazy amount of maps. This game, honestly, out of any COD. You could argue guns, you could argue zombies, but the maps for the multiplayer, this has the most legendary maps in one COD ever. I don't think that's a debate. I didn't even play the campaign. After Modern Warfare 2, I really haven't played any more campaigns, bro, because I didn't like the Modern Warfare 2. I played a little bit of the Black Ops 3 one, but I haven't really played any of the other ones. Right. Uh, this game is really nostalgic, because I think, I could be wrong about this. So I think we all yeah, we did. Now. That's what we met. Could be wrong, yeah, so that's that's crazy. Like we, that's when we first started, like you know, playing games and shit. This was so, like the first game I started like, playing uh, on top, uh Xbox uh, Gold or games? Xbox Online. Yeah, yeah. So this was like nostalgic. Bad, some of the best. Even though I was ass, cause I was ass for a minute. Even though I was ass at this game, fun as fuck. It was fun as hell, especially when you yeah, used to play, yeah. like Myers and shit. Custom and games, all type of shit. Crazy. Wager matches. It was another time, bro. It was another time. Wager matches. They had, you know, the little COD points, whatever shit was called. They had gun game. That shit was busting. I mean, this is like a perfect COD on me. Like, this is like flawless. So, for me, I 10? Think go to 10. Honestly, bro, there's really no holes, bro. There's no, there's really no holes. There's no but, uh, dude, in the, Gavin in the okay. chat said, so you missed out on hella campaigns. Put in the chat while we doing this some campaigns. Because I don't know what I missed, bro. I literally don't know. I put, I would... 
I honestly think Black Ops mm-hmm. one of my favorite best COD I ever played. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Good tip. I do tip. I fucked up I the order. Nice Next is Modern Warfare Three. And it had Dolphin Dive on that bitch. You know, a lot of people don't really use it. Dolphin much. Dives? Used to, uh, Bro, people are used to love them bitches, dives. especially in zombies. Yeah. yeah, but slide is better. Let's be honest. I mean, I mean, going back and playing them, it's a, it's a, it's very evident that it's better. But for zombies, but for zombies, <laughs> I feel like the Dolphin Dive is better because of PhD flopper. But they have like PhD slider, but it don't hit the same, yeah. bro. It don't hit the same. It's like when you dolphin dive and you get the big bomb and shit. It don't, it just don't hit the same. But MW3. Uh, I think out of all like the mono affairs, I think I think out of all the mono affairs, this is the best one. It had the most guns. If you know me, I literally like on COD, I don't just use one gun the whole time. Like we have a friend that just used the same gun every single COD, like for the full full game. Nigga yeah. Jalen, that nigga would literally use one gun yeah. from the beginning to the end of that shit. Bro, nigga, what shit. gun, bro, on Black Ops 2? Black Ops 2, he used he MSMC the whole time. The entire time. Black Ops 2, he never, bro, you can ask Jalen. Ask that nigga Jalen about the MSMC. He'll say he only used that shit. That was by far his favorite gun. If we talk about Black Ops 1, he only used the Galil. If we talk about um, uh, Advanced Warfare, he only used the ASM-1. We talk about, I don't remember what he used on MW3, but pretty much on all these games, he only used one. Like on Mono Warfare, he used the M4 and the MP5. He never used, he never tried anything else. Literally didn't even try anything else. On on Cold War, he only used the AK-74U. Okay. Okay, so he says the best campaigns was World War II, Black Ops 2. I heard Black Ops 2 campaign was really good. MW4, Black Ops 3. I actually wanted to play Black Ops 3 campaign because it's actually, if you didn't know, it's, it's co-op. So I tried to play it, but I never got through with it. I really was more, after Borderlands 2 came out, I really never really played single-player campaigns no more. I played co-op. So, yeah. But I know the the 2019 Modern Warfare 1 is supposed to be really good. I know the recent COD is supposed to have really good campaigns. But MW3, honestly, I like it more than MW2. and I probably have more nostalgia for the other COD. But I probably do like it more because I played it more. But I don't think it's like, I don't think it's like on the levels right. of like the Black Ops. I probably say it's like a seven or an eight. Yeah, no, I probably say like on seven. I give it more of a seven and, and at most an eight nah, for I me. Go, I can't, I can't. Nah, I can't go that much. low. I think campaign was great. I didn't, I didn't play campaign. I only yeah, really played Spec really Ops good. and uh multiplayer. I didn't really play campaign on it. Oh, uh, you need to play the campaign, bro. You probably won't do it no more, but the campaign was legendary. The multiplayer was legendary. That's the first I will say the multiplayer, I, what, I didn't like the multiplayer, but I give them, them niggas had a lot of guns. A lot of guns. Off rip. No DLC, just off rip. That's ridiculous. They had like 80 guns off rip. Yeah. That's ridiculous. They had a lot of guns, and the time to kill was perfect. All that. The ICR. You mean the ACR? Yeah, I just love that. I love that game. Uh, yeah. ACR. Yeah, that was one of my favorite ACRs too. So for me, honestly, I think a lot of stuff that Modern Warfare 3, I will say, it's like a lot of stuff that they had in Modern Warfare 2, but it was improved upon, in my opinion, from like the ACR to the UMP. I feel like they nerfed those guns to make it more balanced, and that was a really good change. And they still was really fun to use. They still was really fun to use. Right. But yeah, I would still say it's like a 7 or 8. So I I would put it 9. All right, I put it, I put it 8, top of 8. Put it in the middle, I guess, bro. Top of eight, Black Ops two. That's now I know Black, I know Black Ops one is in ten, but like Black Ops two is like the epitome of a perfect game. We bro, we've been going back to play the zombies lately, bro, and the zombies on Black Ops two are so much harder than like the new zombies. Even Black Ops three zombies, Black Ops two zombies are so much harder. Just to make it to round fifteen is a challenge on that shit coming from these newer cards. It's a challenge. Bro, like, it's so much stuff that Black Ops 2 had. They had multiplayer. The maps, in second to, they're second to, they had the maps, guns. Apparently, the campaign was amazing. The zombie. Camos. Oh, my gosh. The camos on Black Ops 1, in my opinion, Black Ops 1 has the best gun, gold gun. But Black Ops 2, you had gold and you had diamond. I think Black Ops 2 had the best diamond. I think also Black Ops 2, 
Uh, honestly, Black Ops 2 probably also had the best DLC camos we ever had. I know this was like the first time they started doing that shit, but that dragon camo, they had some crazy good camos. They even had like a Pack-a-Punch camo where like you got a camo to play online that was like the Pack-a-Punch. And we all know how good the Pack-a-Punch camo is every single COD. So yeah, I think I think Black Ops 2 is right. perfect. I think that's a, I think that's a 10. It's I think 10. that's a 10. It might be the best I think it. I think it definitely could have an argument to be better than Black Ops One, for sure. I feel like a lot of the things when I go back to play Black Ops One, like I feel like the guns are way harder to use than I remember, but the Galil is still extremely easy. The AK seven forty seven is extremely easy. Some of the other guns not just as pickupable on Black Ops One. Black Ops like the FMA is not as pickupable. Maybe in close range, but not like all range. Like AK forty seven and the Galil, you can use that shit at all range, bro. Like, them shits are OP. Like, the LMG is not that broken as I remember, but they still have a lot of guns still. They still have, like, the L96 and all that shit on Black Ops 1. But I think Black Ops 2 probably does have more balance. Because you got the PDW, the MSMC, the MTAR, the M27. There's so many different guns you could talk about on Black Ops right. 2. The LSAT. There's so many different guns. So I would definitely say that's a 10. Did this game have the best kill streaks? Black Ops. No, I, would, no, I wouldn't Did go that far. Yeah, K9, LSAT, what else it had? Yeah, LSAT, but I would still say Black Ops 1 got better streaks. This nigga said Black Ops 1 trash. What the that. fuck? Ooh. Nigga, Black Ops I'm not even I'm not even what? entertaining. I'm not even entertaining yeah, yo, it. Ghost. Now this is where it's, this is where Kai starts to take a downward spiral. This is the first time they took a downward spiral. That's what I'll say. So Ghost, play we played it. We played it. Ghost, never played it. You just didn't play it that much. I don't remember. I we played it, but like, we... I probably played like a little bit, and then I never. You played, played this. Game. You feel like you did? You play Infinite Warfare? Yeah, I played. I played Infinite Warfare for like a day. Okay, so Ghost. Ghost, Ghost two. Ghost. I think Ghost. I don't know. I think well, Ghost, I think Ghost for what like came it. after it, it wasn't bad. It just was horrible. To follow up Black Ops 2 with this. I will say Ghost has some of the best DLC. And you know what I will say? What you say? Game, what I will say about this game is that it was fun as hell to watch competitors. If you watch competitive Call of Duty, you will know that Ghost is actually a fun game to watch. But to actually play it, I don't know. It just wasn't like appealing to me. I didn't nah, bro. The colors were so ass, the nigga. The colors were so depressing. Yeah, they didn't have good visuals. I just don't know. I just didn't. I didn't really, you know. It didn't appeal to I me. I can see honestly. Me, you know what I think about I Ghost? I think it could have had a really good campaign. That's what I think of it. Ghost did have zombies. I don't know, man. I would just probably. A, no, it was yeah, extinction. That's what it was. Extinction. Yeah, that was the uh, game, bro. I, I would say Ghost is like a five or a six, bro. I don't think it's. Tr it's like a trash I don't think game. we can put it trash because there's definitely gonna be games on here worse than it. So, okay, we can put a five. Five, in. okay. I'm, I'm fine with five. The Honey Badger was a good gun though. It's just not a good. But game like, no there's one. no good maps on it that I remember. Yeah. The okay. game modes yeah. were horrible. They yeah. took like all the good game modes away. The only thing I'll say about it, they did have Search and Rescue. That was a really good game mode. But besides that, they really kind of trolled all the other stuff. All right, next one. I'm gonna let you just go off, man, because this is your game. You know, you know, I'm not even gonna go crazy on this because I'm a, I don't want to mess with the kill list. Uh, for y'all that don't know, Advanced Warfare is my personal favorite COD. I know, I know. Before y'all crucify me in the comment section, uh, how could you say Advanced Warfare? Advanced Warfare is one of the most underrated CODs of all time. People just could not adapt to the jetpack, so we trashed the game. But when you actually play, it was one of the most thrilling games I've ever played, multiplayer-wise. Having gunfights in midair, you know, just. Just fucking on people, and I just I just really enjoyed it, you know. And then the leveling system was great. I know people don't like uh, loot crates, and I'm sorry, but if you played the game long enough, you would get a speakeasy. If you played the game long enough, you would get up city speed. So you know, for all the people that is complaining that they didn't get the speakeasy, you just didn't play the game long enough, and you suck. So it's not my fault that you're not good enough to get the speakeasy. I got the speakeasy, so advanced warfare for me would have been a ten, but I'm not gonna screw up the kill list. I'm not gonna screw it up. I would say compared to all these other CODs, Advanced Warfare is maybe a 7. That's what I would put it at. At least a 7. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it, bro. 
Now this is how we're gonna do it. This is how we're gonna do it. This is how we're gonna do it. Before you rate, don't say your number because we're gonna do that. Say your one thing. Okay, one more thing. I think this uh, Kai had one of the best campaigns of all time, like top five. Okay. So. All right. So before I say anything, all right. So this is how we gonna do it. Mo rank the multiplayer. Like uh, based off these tiers, based off these tiers, rank the multiplayer. Okay. Uh, rank the zombies, exo zombies. Yeah. Okay. Oh, rank the campaign. Ten. All right, you're trolling. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright, alright. Right, 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 right. So that would be that. That would be probably a seven. That would be a seven. That's, no, that would be probably a seven or eight. That would probably be an eight, actually, because two tens in trash. That's very, very lopsided numbers, bro. That's very, very lopsided. But okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, I just hey, let you have your piece. Can I have can I have my piece? Can I have my piece? Can I have my piece? So I just let you go off and just say everything. Now, you said a lot of stuff there, but I will be honest. Before I say all the negatives about this game, I will be honest. If you're talking about watching pro players, I could see this game being like Ghost, where like you said like Ghost was very enjoyable to watch. I could see people that skilled, it would be fun to watch them because they're skilled. You can see there yeah, was an obvious skill, skill gap, but there's a lot of huge issues with this right. game. One, when it comes to just a regular COD player, they don't want all that extra shit. They just want their shooter that's going to get the streaks mm -hmm. and just be a fun game. So true. what Advanced Warfare should have did, they should have had the, the jump packs and the non-jump packs. Two. When it comes to the game, games mm -hmm. of all the cards that I've ever touched, this is the most unbalanced COD to ever come out. There was two games. Two, not two games, two guns. Two guns. And if you didn't have the best drop of that gun, you were at a disadvantage. You could literally use the same gun, but if you didn't have like the... The upgraded that version of that gun, you were actually at a disadvantage because the stats on those guns were just better. They were better. Is that not true? They were, but if you were just good, I mean, I understand mm -hmm. what your first point was. Like, you know, the average car player mm -hmm. can, can't not adapt, so I agree with that. But if you were actually... I mean, I'm pretty sure fucking scump can go into... In, you know I know, why? I'm pretty I sure did. any... any Okay. Are you kidding it's my type of living people had speakeasies. People had after this speed. They had all that. It's, it's people. What, it's I people that like, like going to pub stomping with pistols, my nigga. Like that's uh, that's cool. But like for like you know, the average I mean, person, you know, you good, for the bro, average like, person right. to go in there, that the guns were unbalanced. Let's be real. You you understand that they're unbalanced. They were. They were. They were Two yeah, yeah. maps. Yeah. Let's be real. Yeah. For the people that played it. Map. It has to good maps though. To There's not one I legendary name, map. If I asked you to name one maps. map, not legendary. you couldn't name not one. Legendary. No, not legendary, but Three. Good. Exozombies. Mm -hmm. Honestly, didn't mind Exozombies I mean, as much as other people. I'm going to be honest. In comparison to like some of the other shit, I think, honestly, I think Infinite Warfare actually has probably the next best zombies besides the Black Ops. Infinite Warfare actually have really good zombies. If people didn't know that, mm. Infinite Warfare is zombies really good. But advanced warfare, I think I've said enough. It's trash to me. No, I would definitely say it's trash no, to me. No, no, I'm it's, it's trash. trash to me. At most, it's I would trash. go five, bro. At most, I think, I think, it, I don't think it's the worst. I don't think it's the worst out of the jumping games. But I'm gonna be real with you. I would rather do zombies on Infinite Warfare than anything on Advanced Warfare. Genuinely. That's Bro, have you played Infinite Warfare? Yes, Bro, yes, Infinite yes, Warfare yes, Zombies yes, is yes. actually up there with some of the best Black Ops Zombies. Black Ops 4 Zombies are nowhere near as good as Infinite Warfare. Like, you don't even have to like Zombies, but like the... Bro, the themes of the Zombies on Infinite Warfare were extremely cool. Uh, I mean, that's cool, but trash is trash is agreed. That's agreed with me. I, I can't, I can't, I can't. This is not right. It's not, it's not a trash game. Like if 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 if, if Advanced Warfare came out today, 
if it came out today, I don't think you would not play it. I think you would give it another chance. But no, I say this all the time. I say this all the time. I say I say this all the time. This is what I say. I was having this conversation actually with Jalen. I asked Jalen, "What do you think is better, Infinite Warfare or Advanced Warfare?" And he said instantly, "Infinite Warfare." But I told him, "Imagine this: Infinite Warfare comes out first." Then we get Black Ops 3. Then we get Advanced Warfare. Mm-hmm. Would you play it? He said, fuck no. Hell no. I'm not playing that jumping shit. So, it's all based off what came out first at the end of the day. Because we, uh, honestly, if we're being unbiased, Black Ops 3 is the best one out of the three. If we're being unbiased, Black Ops 3 is the best one out of the three. That's that is? I didn't know that, okay. to be honest. I thought most people liked uh, yeah, yeah, Advanced yeah, Warfare the most. Actually, a lot of people say Black Ops Which I'm not mad at. It's definitely most one of the most underrated, in my opinion. Because of the jumping part. The jumping part just takes away from it so much, bro. But it actually, actually, it had a version of it where you didn't have to be a jumper. Like, you could play, like, bare bones where you just boots on the ground. But I would, I would say, I'll, I'll go five. I'll go five. So it'll go six. Five, I'll go seven. That's crazy. I'm going to be honest. Huh. You know, if this was my personal list, though. Huh. All right. Black Ops 3. Honestly, Black Ops 3. You genuinely could ba- debate has the best zombies. Genuinely could debate it because Shadows yeah. of Evil one of the best starter zombies maps all time. Uh, they have two of the best DLC zombies maps all time with Horizon Drake and um, Grod Kofi. I just played Revelations the other day. That is one of the most beautifully made zombies ever. But what makes Black Ops Three so overpowered and compared to all the other games? You have literally some of the best. Zombies games that are old, remade in fully HD. So we have Moon now. We have Kino on there now. We have Origins, which is arguably the best Zombies game ever made. And we even have, like, all the OG maps. So, like, honestly, I would probably say Black Ops 3 is the best Mm -hmm. Zombies game. Campaign, honestly, if being unbiased, if there was a campaign, if I never played any campaign, and I'm just looking at it for face value... I would probably be more willing to play the zombies, or not the zombies, but the campaign on Black Ops 3 before I play any of the other ones because of the fact that it actually had the option of you can play it single player or you can play it co-op. So I would probably play that before I played the other ones because they actually had the option. If you wanted to play with other people, you could. And I just like playing with other people on campaigns. So that campaign, I would probably like that campaign more than all the other costs off that alone. Three, the multiplayer. Out of all the jumping Multiplayers is the best one, in my opinion. Not just off the simple fact that it had the best game yeah. modes, but in my opinion, the gun selection, you had a lot of different guns. The CUDA, the VMP, the ICR. Bro, there's just a lot of different guns. The M8 is so many different guns. And, bro, Black Ops series is kind of cheating because every single time they have these maps. But a lot of people don't know this. Black Ops 3 had all the maps. The only map they didn't have was Fire Rain. They did, they had Slums, Raid, Nuketown, WMD, Standoff, Slump. They had all the classic maps from all the Call of Duties all in this one game. So, yes, I would probably say... I would say Black Ops 3 is an 8 or a 9. The only thing that's holding it back from me saying it's a 9 for sure is the jump packs, the jet packs. I can't give it a 10 or a 9 off that. So I can at most go 8. But the jet packs really does ruin it. Nah, I mean, I think this game is... I actually... No. Hello? Hello? What the fuck this what the fuck was that nigga Mike doing? Your mic was lagging like crazy Hello? right there. You good? Hello? Oh, yeah, I man. Mm-hmm. What I was saying was mm-hmm. uh Black Street. It's a great game. I mean like I understand like what you said with the jet packs. I think the jet packs was uh is tailored more for the casual player, right? Yeah, advanced warfare that had the quick up and down side to side movements, which is what I liked, because it I, I definitely mm-hmm. had like a competitive edge. But this game had like the floaty hovering kind of thing, which made it easier for like casual players. So, you know, I can understand why people would say this was a better jet. Honestly, though, but when we that. played it the last time, you didn't, you didn't. Honestly, though, when we played the last time, you said you didn't fuck with how much more movement you could do with the jetpacks. I honestly feel like the jetpack movement on this one was the best one, because. 
if you wanted to jump, I didn't like it because I had to. Tie I feel like you just wasn't nearly. If, I don't think you was as used to it it's as you was Advanced Warfare because you played Advanced Warfare a lot, bro. Yeah, because it's a, it's a hover. It's a hover. Like you had to. Tie Could you slide on Advanced Warfare? Like you know, like, like, like connect to stuff. On Advanced Warfare. Okay, uh, well I didn't know that, yeah. but I know that you could you slide on the on the uh, walls on Advanced Warfare. Okay, so I I really yeah. feel like there was like a lot more freedom of movement. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was like a freestyle game. That's what I would. That's what I would call but it. I do. I, I mean, I mean, there's no positives like to jetpacks in my opinion. So like, I think the jetpacks for me was my most favorite one. But I did play Black Ops Three the most because I liked it. More than other ones. <laughs> yeah, and and I would say I don't even think this is a controversial opinion. I would say Black Ops Three had the most beautiful graphics, like colors. It was the out of all the jetpack ones. I think it's honestly one of the. That, yeah, okay. I was gonna say that. I I, I thought that's what you was gonna say jetpacks, but honestly, all that stuff you just said. Period. I think one of the best made games, for yeah. sure. It was just, yeah, it was for one sure. Of the best looking games, like. I don't know how you go from that to where we have now, but you know that's you know it's crazy. But one of the best visual games, jetpacks are made for like casual players, which I understand. It was just a be good saying game. all this though. Why you didn't play this shit when we was I mean, I when I was playing it? Cause that nigga Jalen didn't fuck. He didn't fuck with jetpacks. I didn't oh, like that. Okay, okay. Game. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like the jetpacks in Black Ops Three. That's the only thing that if they didn't have jetpacks in Black Ops Three, I think that would have been up there in the ten. But since the jetpacks, I didn't like them. I played okay. three and nine. Honestly, I think it's a nine. I said eight or a nine. A nine so a I'm not mad at nine. nine. I'm not mad at nine. I'm not mad at. I'm not mad at we infinite go, warfare. Go, I would put it trash, but the zombies was really a saving grace. The zombies was trash, really a saving man. grace. But if I'm literally ranking the campaign, the fucking multiplayer trash, and I'm putting, the, I'll put the zombies at like a seven, bro. Legit, the zombies are good. The zombies are really good. I did see the campaign being good, but I didn't touch no. it, so it had to be trash. Facts. I heard it was good, but yeah, this, I just I dropped it. This but I will say about like, Infinite Warfare. Five, like, I, I will say about Infinite Warfare. It. We're really I'm very unfair with it because I was so tired of the jetpacks. So like it's really tough. It's really tough. Uh -huh. You can go ahead. Yeah, I mean the jetpack is the jetpacks not for everybody. I mean, but you you either love it or you hate it. It's no in between. I feel like it would have been better. I feel like jetpacks would have been better if they would have did, you know, they would have did Black Ops 2. Oh, hell no. Advanced Warfare would have been hated way more. Okay, let me just say that. I feel like it would have been better if they would have went MW3. Okay, say for instance. Say for instance. All right, this is how it would have went. MW3 would have came, then they would have dropped Black Ops 3. That would have been the game. Then we would have got a game like Black Ops 2 right after that. But then we would have got like Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare, whatever, whichever one you rather. Right after Black Ops 2, then it would have came back with, like, a game as good as, like, MW2 or Black Ops 1. And then we would have got another jetpack game. But getting three in a row jetpack games when people are begging for, like, the regular, and we're getting tired, more and more tired and more and more annoyed, I don't think that was a really good recipe, mm -hmm. to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. If an offer, I would probably play for trash. It was just a dull game, boring game. You didn't really connect to it. So trash. I would play it trash. I'm not mad at trash. I'm not mad at trash. But I really do like the zombies on it. But I don't think the zombies yeah. saved the entire game. Yeah, zombies probably... World War Two. This is a game that actually had underrated yeah. zombies. I think it had okay multiplayer. I didn't really play mm -hmm. the uh, campaign. It was all right. I think the only reason I liked it... This is a I think the only reason I liked it as much as I did at the time was because, one, it was hilarious to make fun of how ass Greg was at it. Two... Um, two, it didn't have jetpacks, <laughs> so it was a little bit biased to those two things. Cause that's this is where I met Greg. This is literally where I met Greg. Yeah. So, Making fun of that nigga was hilarious. I mean, shit. Yeah, I think the campaign was cool. The campaign was cool. The kill streaks were very underwhelming for me when I was playing it. It was just mm -hmm. you had the guy bomb. I think you had like that little uh, pilot. I forgot what it's called, but you had like the little pilot gunner. I fought with the streaks on it, to be honest. I fought with the Greek. I fought with a lot of guns. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, The jump pack games, that's when, bro, after Ghosts and shit like that, that's when they started ruining streak. Ghosts, and then on, they started ruining game modes and streaks. They literally did that. That's literally what started happening. Yeah. Uh, I mean... I don't know, but I just didn't. I didn't even love the streaks. I don't think I played campaigns 
like I, I don't think I played that, but multiplayer was all right. You know, it's a sledgehammer game, so you know, I played it. It was just like I was gonna give it a seven. A game, bro. I was gonna uh, give it a seven. Hands up was great though. I like I actually messed I with a like I actually game. messed with a lot of guns yeah. on there. Be honest, now I'm thinking about it because I've always been like a sub player and pusher player. I feel like it was actually a decent game for that type of play style. Maps, I only really remember London Rose. I don't really remember anything else, but London Rose actually is a memorable map. I will give it that. It's yeah, a memorable map, good, but I, made that map. I, I don't. I'm, I'm not putting it seven because it's not better. That's what you are, but it's based off what you would put it. It's not because you had Advanced Warfare as a seven. You said it was a seven. Right, so I, I would right, say so this was a six. Six, seven. I don't know how it was settled. Probably put random battle over it. Hey, uh, y'all just got to trust me. We're gonna do a random number generator. Random number yeah, generator. Actually, no, no, no. That's what we're gonna, gonna do. Though. Fuck, I can't do that. Yeah, that shit works. It does look good. Yeah, we got the right and over generator. Six and seven. And we're just going to click it one time. Six. It's going in six. <laughs> going in six. I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, it's a six. Uh, it's not bad. To me, it's not bad. It's, actually, it's not. It's a good game. It's not bad. Like six, six, seven mid. is for average, right? Six, seven, six five, five is like mid. About average. Hey, you like a mid average. I would say yeah, five is mid, you know, six is like bad, okay to good. It's it's so it's like it's like, like it's like five almost good. Five is not bad. Trash is trash. Trash is bad. Yes, it is. It's tra trash. is trash. Five is slightly not trash. Six is mid. Seven is good. Eight is great. Nine is amazing. Okay, Seven I guess that makes perfect. sense. I guess it makes sense. All right, Black Ops Four. I think of the recent yeah. games. This is the best one, but like that's not saying much. That's not really saying much. Oh yeah. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people hate on the uh, specials, which I can understand. <laughs> but me personally, bro, me personally, bro, and I had... fought with the specials. I ain't gonna lie, because they gave me a free kill. Facts. I was a secret drone I, I, player, I, I, so, you I, know, I, I fucked with them. Yeah, you like the secret drone. No, I played the new cops. Yeah, also, I know people didn't fuck with it uh, being score streaks either. People didn't fuck with it being score streaks, not kill streaks. Because that was easier. It, like, this game was easier for people that weren't good. But I thought you liked the competitive. I thought you fought with the competitive kill side of it. Yeah, I like. Nah, if you thought that, you thought a game was made for casuals, wait till three. we get to Cold War. The streaks on Cold War are fucking stupid. Oh yeah, I know, I know, I know. Nah, he's yeah, going Black crazy. Black, Black Ops Four being trash is egregious. crazy. That's egregious. Now that's that's, egregious. A, that's actually egregious. That's not. It's not a trash game. Is it? Is it? He is says it it's trash because there's no campaign. See, I don't give a damn that it didn't have campaign, but. If you, hey, TDB, I, I will be honest. Black Ops 4 like zombies are terrible. They had nine because it's, it's Treyarch. They're going to make a good map. But the design from the perks to everything else, it was horrible. That was literally like they ruined zombies. Like Black Ops 4 actually ruined zombies. They made up for it on Cold War, but Black Ops 4 legitimately ruined zombies. That literally made people like, oh, Black Ops was not trash though. You're See, now you're going crazy. Blackout was not yeah, tra Blackout trash. Was trash. I feel like Blackout was on the same level as World War Two. It was cool. It was all right. The map was by far better than like the shit that we had on um, Warzone. Warzone just was way better made. It was just way better made as like a structure, yeah. gameplay, all that for like. Well, I don't know about gameplay, but from everything else perspective, from like the buy station and all that, it was just better made. Blackout map, whereas we had like all these. Like legendary maps, all on one map, perfectly made. Wait, people huh? did ask for blackout though. People, had, people did. They could, you know, this dude say, uh, people people definitely was people begging COD for a BR people for asked. years. People for years, bro. For yeah, that was yeah. like the number one thing. Niggas did the same thing with pretty much every uh uh sp shooting game. Like Battlefield got begged, Halo got begged, everybody got begged, bro, for a BR, bro, mode. So. And a lot of these games have gotten ruined because of that, too. Because they put so much time into those BR modes. Which is kind of scaring me with the new game. I don't think, like, the multiplayer. But, honestly, it's going to be hard for them to flop that. But, less on that. More on Black Ops 4. I would honestly say Black Ops 4 is an 8. I would say it's an 8. Yeah, I was, was going to play right there. It's, it's, not, it's not top tier, but it's, like, one of the good. It's a, good, it's a great card. I would say it's an 8. 
I think I think this COD is either oh no, Black Ops Three is probably the most underrated COD, but Black Ops Four I feel like gets more hate, so it could be more uh, underrated. I think Black Ops Four multiplayer is really good. I don't really even see what would be the issue with the multiplayer. Like they have all the legendary gun. They brought back so many legendary guns, and it wasn't like as much of a looter type game. You could get free guns through the battle pass. So, like, you didn't really have to, like, keep spamming packs. The DLC was free on here. Like, I don't really get... Maybe they didn't like the map. Maps was uh, better than... I'll, Black, I'll bro, the map... Blah, was four maps? They literally brought back all the legendary maps. And they were free. They were, it was no... Besides... But they were free. Wait, how can you not count those? They literally brought them back okay. for free. Because it's not... I'm talking about original maps. I'm talking about, like, these maps are, like, originally, you know, for this game. I remember exactly Arsenal. I remember, I bro. You know gotta that. remember, Nuketown is always an original. Jungle was an original. There's a lot of original maps. Seaside, Seaside. Um. Seaside is original, but oh, Seaside I like Seaside. Yeah, I, I always mess with Seaside. Like Seaside. I messed with Seaside, Arsenal, and it was another one that was really good to me. But I can't think of it. That was the, my favorite one. The one I can't think of is my favorite one. But yeah, I guess if you're not counting, if you're just counting original, okay. Bro, Kai cannot make good maps anymore. That's just a factual thing. They've been bad at making good maps since pretty much Ghost. So, yeah, if you're talking about yeah. original guns, original stuff, then that's tough, then. I ain't gonna lie. But Black Ops 4 did have my favorite ICR. But, like, they brought back the Peacekeeper, ICR. I think the ICR... Tell me everybody bringing back the I think the ICR on Black Ops 3 was better, but I get you. But I think, I think it's an 8. COD Mobile. Yeah. I think yeah, COD Mobile, I think COD Mobile honestly could be a 10 if it was on all platforms. <laughs> but the fact that it's only on mobile, mm. but you can use it on PC, but it's like, how does it work on PC? I don't know how it really works know. on PC. <laughs> so care. if you can actually use it on PC, it's an 8. I give it at at, mo at least an eight, but the fact that you can't mm. use it on consoles, like this has every gun in Call of Duty his history, pretty much, every single pretty much good gun, every single pretty much good map. They have battle royale on here. They have zombies on here. They have multiplayer, all different type of multiplayer game modes. Like this is like a COD player's dream. Mm. They pretty much even have like a lot of the most famous streaks on here. So like if COD was mobile was on, bro, COD mobile would be beyond a ten. It literally would be beyond a 10, bro. Because this is literally like a dream COD. But the fact that it's not on consoles yeah. makes it a 7. But the fact that it's on PC, I guess I'll give it an 8 for me. 8? Okay. I probably it's like a dream play. game, my nigga. I haven't played it. Modern Warfare. Okay. Modern Warfare. I hated this COD. Campiest COD of all time. The mounts made things can horrible. Maps were the worst map, maps ever made. Worst maps. But I will say the guns were pretty good. I cannot lie. Time to kill was pretty fast. But I mean, this game would have been really good if it had better maps, no mounting, no. Camping, so pretty much, if they had a completely shooting. different gameplay uh, system, I think it would have been a great card. Yeah, it, it, it would have been a great card because the game, the, the feel of the game, like when you play it, the feel, like the sliding. All that stuff was nice. I mean, I cannot lie. I like the, the way it feels when you play it. But the camping and everything like that, it just ruined the game for me. So, honestly, yeah, I, I honestly know. think what would you put it? Call of Duty Modern Warfare is literally the worst COD ever made. Now, do I think it's worse than Vanguard? I wouldn't go that far, but we don't get Vanguard if it's not for this. Because Vanguard, all Vanguard is is Sledgehammer trying to replicate this. All Cold War is is the people that make the Black right. Ops games trying to replicate this this entire gameplay style of like mm -hmm. literally playing towards casual literally, all this game is is literally the the dev developers of cod catering towards casuals and the only thing that actually good came from it is warzone and warzone is literally its own game on this tier so i don't have to rank that part of it it's trash like it's actually trash it's this is actually a trash game Wait, wait, I didn't play campaign, so I can't base it off that. So if the fact, due to the fact I didn't play campaign, yeah, okay. it's trash to me. Okay. And I literally put Infinite Warfare here, and I said the zombies on that okay. is great. So. Yeah, I will go trash with you anyways because the game, the multiplayer. I mean. All right, like so that. Warzone, Peak Warzone.
Ah, uh, bro, yeah. Warzone is hard. To... Pick ten? Warzone is a ten, bro. I was I was gonna say it's nine. It's the best, in my opinion. It's the best. Whoa, team. what the fuck? <laughs> That's I insane. I don't even think I played the best Warzone at its peak, so I can't speak bro. on that. But Warzone was one of the most fun games. To play. I feel like I really do feel like. As a YouTuber, I, I can like honestly that. feel like I can say this. I do feel like YouTubers have ruined gaming. Because what people do is, you, the reason why on 2K everybody uses the same builds mm -hmm. is because people just look up best build, that's what they're going to use. People reason why everybody uses the same guns, because people just look right. up what's the best gun, that's what everybody use. Uh, well, well, let, me, let me fight you on that. Let me fight you on that. I mean, that's big but it's problem. not been nowhere near as popular since... Uh, uh, no, It's not... Idea. Bro, what? Bro, back then, it was only, like, one attachment, though. No, nah, no, nah, Scump, Scump, bro, Scump. Bro, Scump used to make videos, you know, best loadout for, you know, multiplayer. And everybody used to, you know... I, mean, I don't like, think that was as popular, popular though. Not. I feel like uh, I feel like I feel like YouTube nah, people going on YouTube to look up stuff like that really became popular in 2020 with the uh, pandemic. Mm. Yeah. Now, nah, wasn't that Speak didn't have that many hackers? I ain't gonna lie. Warzone though. I ain't gonna. I don't. I don't agree with that. It had hackers, yeah, but it wasn't yeah. nearly as ma when they had the most hackers, bro. That's when Warzone was horrible. That was when, like, bro, Warzone. Peak Warzone is probably before, like, any integrations came out. Peak Warzone was before, because integrations is really what's ruined the gameplay. Because, like, I could understand the integrations if they're going to make the guns across every single game be balanced. But, like, as soon as Cold War came out and they started nerfing the, the recoil on those guns, those guns was by far better than anything you could use for Modern Warfare besides the AMAX. And then they nerfed the AMAX. And they're not, like, buffing guns on Warzone to make it balanced. They're just literally having a meta, nerfing that gun. Another gun becomes meta, nerfing that gun. N another gun becomes meta, nerf that gun. They'll buff other guns randomly, and that gun will get so buffed, that becomes meta, they'll nerf it back to shit. That's literally just what Warzone is. It's just a cycle of just shit getting nerfed and just becoming terrible. It's not like it's getting nerfed and it's still usable. They're nerfing shit to the ground. So, like, the mm -hmm. shit literally is unusable. So, like, when... So, w when uh, Modern Warfare was really in the peak, Warzone was in peak, I still think um, the map was still ass. I never liked Verdance. I don't think the new map is any better. I think Rebirth... I think, I think Rebirth I was cool. It was a good idea. But I don't like Rebirth strictly off the fact that people are literally using it as an alternative to fucking multiplayer, which is kind of ruining multiplayer. Only thing people do multiplayer now for is for, like, grinding camos. So, like, that's one thing. Um, they really need to make come out with a good multiplayer mm -hmm. game. We haven't had a good multiplayer game, in my opinion, since Black Ops 4. But, yeah. Uh, I think Warzone, I would give it, like, an 8. Peak Warzone... P Wars on I can see a ten, but all together I give it an eight. Yeah, I'm gonna go strong nine on Warzone. It's a great game, but it just fell off at you know in the last few years, the last year or so. It's a it's a strong nine for me. Yeah, nine? I wouldn't put it above Black Ops Three though. Okay. Yeah, I would put it down. All together or just peak. Alright. Awesome. All right, I think awesome. Cold War is the best out of all, like, the recent cause, but I don't think that's really, like, the. I feel like the multiplayer is better because it's not too much like Modern Warfare, but it is, they, the multi, you can tell that they they took things from Modern Warfare, but it's not too much. But this game is extremely catered to casuals based off the kill streaks. Like, you can die, and it's not a skill streak. Like, like you're still, you're still running up your score, but the way the kill streak... The way a kill streaks work is it'll right. multiply. So if you get one kill, you get two kills, you get three kills. That's five hundred points. You get five straight kills. It like multiplies, but it'll restart the multiplier as soon as you die. But the way it works is you gotta get a score up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's really weird. But I do think Cold War is kind of yeah. underrated because it did come out in this era. I think that it has. Some, I think that it has some good maps. I mean, some actually, honestly, the off rip starter guns. There's a lot of good guns on there. I'm gonna be honest. There are a lot of good guns on Cold War, but I just feel like this is one of the most lifeless, like one of the least Cold War cars I've ever played. Like I don't know, man. Yeah, I just feel like this don't like is the car that even cares about the game. 
I just didn't like it. It just wasn't good. I don't I don't love the map. But the guns were just basic as hell. Kill the counter kill was super fast. Cold War maps man, Cold War maps like are terrible. Like, like if we're not talking about if we're if we're doing it like we did Black Ops yeah, Four, if we're if we're talking about Black Ops Four, Cold War Black Ops Four maps besides the regular shits. Besides the regular shit, sir. It's like, yeah, it's like they just threw some shit together because they knew they couldn't really compete with the. Because Modern Warfare came out before this, right? They, they so they knew they had to just put something together, and just drop some. But you do know why that happened, right? This, so I don't know. I, I didn't like. Cold War wasn't made by Treyarch. Why? Yeah, and the, um, yeah, yeah, bro, the funny thing is probably. Sledgehammer, no, Sledgehammer made it, and then they gave the Treyarch niggas a month to make it. They gave them a month yeah. to make it. So then when it came to... Yeah, so the one thing I'll I say about... The most impressive part about Cold War is that first zombie map. That first zombie map is actually really, really good. For them to make that shit all in a span of one month is insane. That is an extremely extensive map to be made in one month. So that's actually imp impressive. It makes sense now why it took so long for them to make all the other stuff. And one thing I'll give Cold War, I forgot about this. They have like the Battle Royale zombies, and now they have expanded on that to have like a survival type zombies on there. That shit is amazing. That shit is amazing, nigga. Where you got to do the objectives. That shit is a very good alternative. That's the first actual alternative zombies mode. They've done, they've tried to do so many different alternative zombies modes, and they're always ass, but that one is actually good. They even have an Easter egg on that shit now. That is really good, in my opinion. That's really good. Yeah. Well, if it's that Wesker, I don't really get to say it's the game. I, mean, I don't, I mean, you both, I like you Cold like War. Not, I think, Cold War? I think that Cold War, I mean, honestly, I they really that. targeted, like, I feel like the way that game was made, they realized that people weren't really playing multiplayer, so they really, what they, I noticed they did, they targeted a lot of, like, the fun party games. So they started, like, putting more and more, like, the party games from the old cars or, like, popular party games into this game, like Prop Hunt and all different types of stuff, like Infected on here, Gun Game, all that. They tried to do that. So I think, I think Cold War is definitely the better of these three. Honestly, I think it could. I think it could give it a, a run for its money. Black Ops Four is run for its money, but Black Ops Four, only thing that's really holding Black Ops Four above nah. Cold War for me is probably uh, firing Four. range. I'm gonna be honest. I do think the gameplay on Black Ops Four is better as well. I do think like the starter maps, but I, but I do think Cold War okay, has Cold like I do think Cold War does have better um, DLC maps than Black Ops Four. I do think that, but I do say Black Ops Four has better DLC uh, weapons. Yeah, but I would say I would say Cold War is like a seven or it eight. Did. It definitely did. Honestly. No, I can't. I can't. I can't say seven or eight. It's, it's one. Of the, it's, it's definitely one better. Of the, it's definitely better than everything like, under seven. Easily. Everything under seven under easily. Seven? Let me look at seven. It's yeah, easily better than Advanced Warfare. Oh, World War Two. It's okay. easily better than World War Two. If you told me, if you told if you told me I gotta play some car for the next year. War II, Cold but War you didn't play Black, you don't play Cold War that much. Pick, I'm picking World War Two. I know, but I'm, I but you didn't even get to play like the finished War. version, like with everything on I it now. Pick. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. If we download both of those games and we play that shit for like a like like two times in a week, literally, I'm telling you, you'll come away thinking Cold War is far better. I promise you. Even if it is better, it it's. Not. Far better, bro. I'm gen genuinely not trolling. No, you could you could put it at the top. You could put it at the top of six, but it's it's not on that same level. No, I'm no for me. I'm saying for me. I'm not saying for you. I'm saying for me. It's not on that level. I know. I'm saying for me. I'm saying for me though. It's not on Modern Warfare Three, Modern Warfare Two. It's not on that level at all. It's not even close. Like I'm not even, you know. Ten years from now, I'm not thinking about nigga. Nigga, I I didn't say it was a fucking ten. Nigga, I said a seven or eight. I'm saying eight maximum, seven. Yeah, yeah, but these seven, these games. I would put. I think it's really. I really think it is. I think it's on the same level as War at War. No, that's egregious, man. Come on, bro. Like you're saying, it's literally at the top of six, in in War at War is at the bottom of seven. That's not that big of a difference, bro. It's just a tier above it. I'm gonna go six. I'm just. That's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go six.
not the worst COD of all time, but one of the least memorable. I would say that's Ghost. Least COD memorable. I've ever played. Now, Ghost is remember Nigga, for I don't give a fuck about no damn competitive scene. I don't know shit about that game. I'm telling you what it is. What else do you remember that shit for? Competitive scene. Cash Top Kids. Alright, bro. That's it. <laughs> bro, you definitely remember Cold War that's Zombies it. at least, nigga. AK 47? You're tripping, bro. Bro, Cold War actually has really good guns. No, I don't think I ever played that. Like, it has. Be- a lot of no, the no, fuck they don't. Games, though. A lot of these co- what co- okay, let's go down the list if you want to. All these what gun? What games? games what? Which one of these yeah, games got these good guns? That's six and below. World War Two got good SMGs. Black Ops Two. Nigga, what, bro? You're talking about tens with good guns? Yes, nigga. Six and below. Six and below. Fuck no! Hell no! Uh, <laughs> bro, that has two good guns, good? nigga. That shit is unbalanced. No, nigga. I'm saying Cold War. It has extremely balanced guns, nigga. I'm not just saying overpowered guns. I'm saying balanced guns where you could, if you wanted to use, if you wanted to use. Man, what's the point of every gun? What? Being balanced, bro? You can have some gun, you can What's have the some point gun of balance. guns being balanced? All right, I'm not even oh, arguing yeah. it. At well, that point, let's just go Vanguard. Let's go to Vanguard. All the guns balanced, bro. It's, it's not all about all of them being balanced. There's always gonna be something more overpowered than something else. But there, but there's a difference between something being overpowered and everything else, and everybody just using one gun. Like on on Modern Warfare, everybody just I used guess, the M4 or the MP5. On Advanced Warfare, mm-hmm. on, people only use ASM1 or the B. Bow. On World War II, you can't really say something like that. On okay. on COD 4, you definitely could. M16 was by far the most used gun on there. Black Ops 4, you could, but not really. It's a lot more guns than just the ICR, but like. It was probably the overpowered gun, but not everybody just uses that. It's a lot of other guns people use. NW2, you definitely could, though, for sure. 100% sure could. Say, Ump and the fucking ACR are by far the most used. MW3, you definitely could. Uh, Warzone, for sure. That's literally what all fucking Warzone is. Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops, I think you could, you, you could say something like that. For Black Ops 2, maybe? But for Black Ops 3 and Black Ops, I, I really don't know what you would say that for. Like, what would be the fucking, by far, most used guns? I feel like on Black Ops 2, you could say, like, the AN-94 and the MSMC or some shit like that. But I don't know what you would say for the other two. Mm-hmm. Well, for me, personally, I don't really care for balance. I like I like it being, like, four Me, five, personally, though, that, I, 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 me, stuff. personally, the only reason I do that is because I just like using a lot of guns. So, y'all, that's it, that's it. Yeah, I mean, everybody different with that. I just like using the same two or three. Because I like to get comfortable. I feel that. I don't like to switch. I feel that. And last, but certainly not least, I put it at uh, top it? of the six because you said, I said seven or eight. At most eight, okay. you said yeah, six. Top of six is fine. I'm okay with top of six. I'm okay with top of six. Even though Advanced Warfare is better. Nigga, I'm World War Two is above Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare. I know, I know, I know. All right, Vanguard. Maybe, maybe. This might be the worst card of all time. I, I think Vanguard I overhated. it. Dash war. When I play that shit by myself, nah. um, it's really fun. I'll say that. And I played this shit a lot by myself. But when I play with Birdo or I play with somebody else, bro, that play like a bitch, that shit is fucking terrible. That shit is fucking horrible, bro. That shit put me up against niggas that just camped the whole time. Nigga, Birdo like playing fucking hard care, hardcore. That, that shit is game. fucking awful. But the Patrol game mode, that's one of the best game modes, like new game modes that Kai's dropped. That's really fun game mode. Control is really good as well. I fuck with uh, Vanguard a little bit, but I'm not going past a six. That shit still has very, very awful zombies. I'm not going past a I'm not mad trash. at that. I put it five, dude. That's what I'm doing. Cause if we got Modern Warfare, I'm not mad at this. I'm All right, mad. I'm not mad at this. 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 There you have it. Man, they, they nah, 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 I don't give a nah, nah, I don't give a fuck about that shit, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though, chat. 
It's the moment we all niggas been waiting for. <laughs> Nigga Uzi dropped. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Are you finna listen to Uzi? All right, bro. All right. It's a, it's... Yeah, I'm gonna right pop off. All right, see y'all chat. See y'all in the next video, the next stream. I'll be back, I guess. So, yeah, peace out. All right. All right. Oh, no, hold on, Uzi. Don't don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, Uzi. Don't do this to me, Uzi. Don't do this. Don't do this. He put these bitches in albums by themselves. I knew Uzi would do it. I knew he would. I knew he would. Hold on, chat. Hold on, chat. We might have to go on SoundCloud. Let me see. We still haven't played as Dust Falls. So Uzi didn't even drop any new songs? Hold on, Uzi didn't drop any new songs? He didn't drop one new song? W tier list, I was disappointed with one. That's all, haha. -ha. I feel you. Oh, no point in reacting to Uzi shit, because that nigga didn't drop anything. Which ones y'all was disappointed on, CK and Gavin? Okay, so you said, nigga said Cold War was an 8. I said Cold War was an 8 maximum. I wasn't going, I wasn't saying it's an 8. I said maximum. If he wanted to go 8, that means I would go 8 if he wanted to go 8. But I was saying a 7. When I say 7, max 8, I'm, that's what I mean, bro. I feel like Black Ops 4 should be lower. Uh, World War 2 should be higher. Oh, those are the only ones. Um, Black Ops 4 is really underrated to me, so I fuck with that shit a lot. Very heavy.